Hi, my name is Scott Brady, and today I'm going to be talking about the user management features of Admin UI. So let's start with user creation. By default, all users must have a username, an email address, and a first and last name. Since we're working in a demo mode here, we also allow an administrator to set the user's password. And this is something we recommend that you switch off before going into production. So if we create our Rockman, we now get taken to the edit user screen. So here we can edit the user's details. We can set them as blocked. We can delete the user. We can also assign the user roles and we can start configuring any optional details about them. So these optional details are also pre-configured within admin UI. So what we're seeing here currently is the default claim types we provide you with. These claim types are all configurable within admin UI. So now let's see what the claim management looks like. So by having our claim types be manageable within admin UI, we now get to have tighter control over what the claim values can be. So for instance, we currently support strings, integers, date times, and booleans. So let's just choose string for now. And let's create a claim type of department. If we want for this, we can also assign regex rules, but the two powerful features here is the required claim and user editable claims. So if we set a claim as required, from now on, every time a new user is created within admin UI, they must have a value for this claim type. And we'll see the form change in a moment. User editable builds into one of, uh, the, one of admin UI's APIs. So when a user goes to self-service update their profile information, they will see this claim type and be able to modify its value without an administrator's intervention. So now if we look for our required claim type, if we go to create a new user, we now see that department is a required field. Another really powerful feature of admin UI is the ability to manage what applications a user is using. So for instance, if we, see, if we look at this one, we can see that the user has logged into it and that they have given the application permission to access an API or access to certain profile data. And what we can do here is we can revoke permission. The application or the user somehow had a token stolen from it and that token was being abused. We can go ahead and revoke it. This means we can stop unauthorized access to our applications as a backend administrator. And this can be done from your phone at home. 